And with that, we are going to start with our first guest. Um, I would like to, wait, wait, before we do that, let me just talk a little bit about, uh, just set the stage just a little bit. What I think is really interesting is we're seeing an unbundling of uh, services from transport. So it, it, for the past 30 years, you wanted to buy television, you bought the transport and the services together. Now in this IP world that we've been building out, and it started with cable modems, and it's just gotten further and further, a lot of those services coming out from on top of being bundled with delivery by the person that you bought the transport from. So what you'll see here are a couple of different implementations of that concept. Now, still most of them are bound up with the service itself, but in many cases, they're completely separate. And the world that we're creating where you can buy your IP and all your services run independently of that IP, whether it's video or voice or sensors for home monitoring or for personal sensors to monitor your health, all of these things delivered via this high-speed connection. What you are going to see today is three different implementations of that vision. I could not be more excited to invite out my first guest, Tom Williams from Eris. Tom, come on out. Tom is a Vice President, Service Provider of Marketing and Business Development for Eris, right over here. Hey, great, thank Good you. Right here. Good to see you now. Really interesting, it's, it's great that Tom's here is gonna be showing us his whole home media gateway. This box right here, I am very, very excited to say, when I was at ZDTV, a cable network about technology that I uh, was on the launch team of, I think it was in 2000 at CES. We had a Best of CES award. I gave the Best of CES award to a box called the Moxie. Well, me and the team involved. It's a great box, did all sorts of wonderful stuff at home with video and multiple DVRs all over it. It was brilliant. And it, it, um, it's kind of been up and down since then, but what we are gonna to see today is finally this product has reached. It's, it's just where it, where it really wanted to be, and, and that's what that's right. you're gonna show us. That's so right. why don't you take me through and tell me what it is. We can take a look at the hardware, and then we take a look at what it's gonna allow you Absolutely. to do. Absolutely, so you know, thanks for having me. And oh. by the way, hello world. <laughs> First off, we've got our, you know, our gateway device, yep. right? So this is a really triple play right device. Here. Yeah, absolutely. Triple play device, right? So we're bringing it all together. It's convergence, right? Voice, video, and data services all in a single device. That's what we have here. So, you know, voice, video, and data, from a video perspective, we have, of course, six tuners. Now, people say, wow, six tuners, that's a lot. You know what? Consumers really resonate with this. They love six tuners. They love being able to record what they want, when they want. Let, let, let me, let me yeah, stop yeah, there. Yeah, this yeah. is really interesting. Yeah. So this is the box here. I don't know if we can yeah. get up and take a look at it. Um, but so basically what you have is you have this single coax going into the box. That's right. right? Inside the box are six tuners that would allow you to essentially record six things at a time. Absolutely. Do yep. people really want to record six they things? They do. At a time? In our consumer focus group, wow. they said six was a great number. So, uh, okay. Um, so you also have Ethernet. Now you've got four Ethernet plugs here. Is this also a, a hub? An Ethernet it's, hub? It is an Ethernet hub. And in addition to that, you can do 802.11 in wireless services out of the gateway. Very interesting. So yep. an Ethernet hub with four ports, is, and I assume it's uh, gigabit E. Absolutely. Gigabit E. Absolutely. Um, what else is in this? Uh, we've got everything in the box, including modem ports. I love that there's modem ports. <laughs> That's right. Ports. Well, these aren't modem points. These are voice ports. Remember oh. I said it's a triple oh, it's play voice. device. Okay, Exactly. Got it. So we have your data, we have your voice, and of course your video services. Now coming out of the box, it's all IP coming out of the box, including the video to our media player that's an IP device oh, as well. All right, well. so now this box, you can hook up to any sc big screen around the house. That's right. And it will display things coming off of here. That's exactly uh, How many right. of these can you have in a house? Oh, you can have 16. Based on Mocha rules, you can have 16 device. So 16 of these, again, they're all plugged in, as you see, via Ethernet, or I assume they could be wireless as it well. Could, it could be, well, it could be Mocha. Mocha, so oh, throughout oh, right, the right, home, right. you have a single coax out, it's Mocha throughout the home. So that's a, this is for the Mocha connection around the house. Yep. This is an Ethernet connection if you do it that way. Yes. Um, and you also have, uh, back here, the ability to do standard Of course, video, YPDPR yeah, and, yeah, and, and of course, HDMI. HDMI. Cool. Exactly. And and these are these are probably pretty cheap boxes, right? Yeah, they're, yeah. Pr they're pretty cheap. So we're driving down the cost, the OPEX and the CAP for the the MSO to the consumer so pretty well and this box is pretty small it's it's nice it's not yeah I'm mean, gonna wait doesn't it, sound very loud which is it's very nice. pretty quiet and really you can hide the gateway anywhere in the home so in the basement up in the attic wherever it doesn't need to be shown at all so the interesting thing to me about this is initially uh, when the moxie came out it was a video only box and now you've added all this other stuff in 
Talk about how people are actually using that. Yeah, so it, you know, it's really the ability of getting the content that you want when you want it, right? Mm -hmm. So not just linear TV, but also narrow cast video, mm -hmm. user generated video, whether that's from a DLNA server or somewhere else. Also over the top content. So if you want to look at YouTube, you can certainly do that on this. Oh, so you're bringing an internet video here as well. How do, I, how do I get Absolutely. revision three on there? <laughs> well, just a little agreement, we'll sign. Done. And, and done. 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 So walk me through some of it. You're gonna give us a demo of what it looks like, right? Yeah, so real quick, you know, all of this content, you know, it doesn't matter unless you can find what you're looking for, right? right? So we've developed a uh, of course a user interface using, you know, the Moxie. Mm -hmm. And um, You can see it right down oh, there, by there the way. You should be Thank able you. to see it down there. So it's a very you know easy guide. It's been uh, developed just for 16 by 9 TVs, right? So not 4 by 3 and stretched. This is developed for 16 by 9 TVs. Very easy X, Y axis type of navigation, and you can quickly find what you're looking for. So here's you know a quick look at the guide. We also have your traditional grid guide, but this is an easy user interface to scroll up and down. Of course turbo scrolling and that sort of thing. Hey, so for HD, how much HD can I store on here? If I can record six things at a time, am I gonna you know, record six programs and be done with it? Over 75 hours of HD programming. In addition to, we have an eSATA port where you can plug uh, you in can a 6.5 hard oh terabit hard drive wow. if you need additional storage. So I could have every episode of Game of Thrones and have enough left over for every like two one or of three them. more things. Or TJ yeah. Hooker or whatever you or, like. Or Jersey. Yeah, the yeah, Jersey, Jersey. Girls. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I see that you're all about the Jersey. I am all about Snooky. I can have more That's Snooky right. than I ever That's probably right. need. All right, so take me some more of that. I, I love the icons here uh, and what's there. So talk yeah, through. Yeah, it's very easy. Very, uh, uh, we can mold it to, depending on what the NSO wants. And how did you add in? Like, what does the phone stuff look like? I mean, the, the, one of the things that I loved about the Moxie Box when it first came out is the interface was beautiful. You know, way different from any of those uh, you know traditional cable interfaces. And I assume you've done the same thing on the phone side as well. Absolutely. So we've you know we've leveraged all of these things and we've created you know the user interface to span across the triple play services, mm -hmm. voice, video, and data. So here's just a quick look at the phone. You can see who's called you in the past. You can access. Um, uh, you know, your complete f f call log. Also, you get a bubble that pops up if somebody calls in. So, right. caller ID on your screen. That's always cool because then you know when you can ignore people as well. That's exactly right. Not that I would ignore you, of course. No, 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 no. I, I, look, if I'm watching, you know, Jersey Shore, I'm ignoring everybody. <laughs> right? Right? Am I, I wrong? I mean, come on. No. Come on, Snooky. Snooky, exactly. I mean, you yeah. never know what she'll do next. So some other quick things, of course, you know, leveraging the data service inside the box, mm -hmm. you know, you can do interesting things like Flickr on your TV. So you have a Flickr account, you bring photos right onto your TV, or any of the 16 TVs in your home that have a media player at the... Can you sync that across the TV? So let's say I'm having a party, and I've got music I want to play, I want to play a, a, a set list of photos. Can I sync that across every TV? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, and along with the music. So we also have Rhapsody in mm -hmm. our music, and so you can stream it live from the internet and play it on all of your displays. What or about Pandora? Your... Absolutely. Okay, cool. Yep. Good. So what else? What, are we, what have I missed here? So also, you know, it's not just about over-the-top content. It's not just about VOD content, and it's not just about, you know, the content um, from your DVR, but also over, uh, your user-generated content. So right, if you exactly. have a media server in yep. the house, all of this is standards-based technology. So DNLA, for instance, is a standard that we have placed into the box. So you can go out and talk to your media server in the home and pull the content that's yours. So you know what the thing is about those, come, on, come back in here, because we we're going to show this off too. The thing that I've always seen with those media servers, and people do that, I say that, and then the interface ends up looking like you know, something from you know, Unix from sure. like 1990. Sure. Right. Uh, I assume you've done a good job. Yeah, I know you don't, have to, you don't have to demo it here, but a absolutely. I assume it's kinda, it sits in that really nice looking interface Look, as what well. we have found, and this is all from our consumer research, is that all of these different services have one constant look and feel to it. Yeah. So when you access your DNLA server in your home, it's in, the, in our user interface, and it's the same. They don't have to learn anything new. They don't need a new box to access all these things. That's what we've created. That's very cool. And so this is the remote, by the way, which I think the remote is actually pretty cool. Um, it works really well. It f fits good in your hand. Now, you also have uh, an iPad here, and I assume you brought that for a reason. I, I, I do. Not just it's, to impress me with how technology, that's right. how astute right. you are in technology. That's right. So I, I'm showing here our iPad app for our 
whole home solution. This is just a quick guide. You can move up and down. You can select the channel. You can get a little bit more information on that channel. Also, from a search perspective, if you can't find what you're looking for, then who cares how much content you have? Our search function, you can filter down, whether it's sports, movies, videos, whatever you want, but it'll span across all of the different uh, types of content that you might have. If you want to quickly access your recorded TV on your DVR, here's a quick way. You just select it and it starts on your, your video. And then of course, just a real quick big remote, right? Makes it easy to navigate. <laughs> the big buttons for uh, grandma, right? That's right. So, and it's pretty easy to say, to select which of the 16 boxes you have around the house that you uh, are going to well, use. Well, it all flows through the media gateway. Got so, it. yep. It, It'll tune what you need it to. And tune. so can yep. you stream video right to this iPad? Not yet. That's in our next generation, and we'll, we're getting there. All right. Yep. What about Android? Yep. Do you support yep. Android as well? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So you have yeah. an Android device, yeah. too. Yeah. That is very cool. So tell me about uh, availability, price, how are you going to get it, and if I want one, can I just take this one home with me? Uh, no. No. <laughs> All right, okay, what about, uh, what about availability? Uh, so it's available today. Yep. We have it uh, with a couple of customers today. We're going out to um, uh, live subscribers, and it's really exciting. Um, price, um, cheap. <laughs> and uh, and uh, we're looking forward uh, to doing more with it. And, with, and so just in a couple seconds we have left, Give me a sense of the future. What new services are going to show up on this box in the next 12 days? Certainly. So I showed the user interface, you know, some neat icons. What we're looking to do in the future is, of course, integrating the Internet more into it. Yep. So such things as, you know, social media, Facebook, Twitter, that sort of thing, more applications that can reside now, on this. Now, do, do you have an API? In, will there be an app store down the road? Will people be building apps for the platform? It's certainly possible. It makes a lot yep. of sense. Yep. Huh? Absolutely. It is so great to see the Moxie box come into its own Wonderful demo, beautiful stuff you guys are doing. Great. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And uh, I know I can't take it home, but I want one. So thanks Works a lot. Great.